A new state-of-the-art mobile hospital is going to be used at Sunday's Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. NASCAR drivers, crew members, and Speedway employees will all be going through several health screenings before entering the Speedway. Sports director Phil Orban gives us a behind-the-scenes tour of the mobile hospital. If you're showing any sort of flu-like symptoms next week at Charlotte Motor Speedway, you'll be taken here, Med 1, what amounts to a mobile emergency room from Atrium Health. This will be the first time this particular mobile hospital will see action. The previous generation was used at civic events like the 2012 Democratic National Convention and disasters like Hurricane Florence. Originally the tent, the idea was possibly a tent or something like that to augment the infill care center, but we already have this wonderful asset, so we decided to might as well use it. It's here, it's, it's environmentally controlled, and it can be pretty hot in the infill. This 14-bed hospital will be used to isolate those who need COVID-related care from the infield center, where drivers are taken to get checked out after wrecks. Med One will be parked next to the care center during race week, but to even gain access, all drivers, team members, and essential staff will undergo a health screening, answering questions, and having their temperature taken. You are all set to go. Then, between events, the infield and garage area will undergo a deep cleaning and sanitation process. Every precaution will be taken as the world watches to see what kind of process it will take for sports to return. The entire lens on this process has been the responsibility we have because the whole world's going to be watching. We're going to have other sports here looking at how we do this and see, take that model and that playbook and take it elsewhere. Greg Walter went on to say next week won't be more difficult than one of the previous race weeks they've done for six decades here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, but it will look a lot different. And he said there's no margin for error. They have to get it right. Back to you.